Welcome to Zubramani. My dress shows that I am on vacation. My headgear shows that I am in uh, Himachal Pradesh. But I am not going to talk to you about that. I am going to talk to you about something which has me worried. And it has me worried because I read some article in uh, the US uh, press that 75%, repeat, 75% of people below the age of uh, 30 or 35 uh, live on borrowed money. 75%, let me say it the third time. Which means every month they borrow on their credit card to meet their expenses, which means they are clearly living beyond their means. Now, why am I taking this number from US and scaring you? Because we don't have such data available in India about what is uh, happening. Right. And it is very scary because in India there are two sets of data that you should analyze, like maybe for US also. The first question is how much money is being spent by people on day-to-day uh, -day expenses which is beyond their income. And if there is any balance, what are they doing with it? Uh, how much of money is being spent on broking accounts? where people are coming and losing money. I mean, I have nothing wrong, uh, nothing against broking accounts. I love it. I'm a shareholder of uh, one of the big broking accounts and I know that they're making money hand over fist. Uh, I have no problems with that, but I'm extremely worried as to whether the government can do anything. I think one thing which all of us should do is start teaching money at home at a younger age. I, there is nothing called starting too early. If you have got a very small kid who is three years old, you can still ask him or her to pick up coins saying uh, this is a shiny coin but it has less value. You know, those kind of things can be taught to a three year old. Then a six year old can start paying for all expenses by taking her along uh, and paying for bread. So she should know that bread costs uh, 40 rupees or 30, 45 rupees uh, depending on where you buy. And uh, you know, a car can cost about 10 12 lakhs a house can cost 2 3 crores these numbers can be sunk in at a pretty young age then start making sure that they understand all this because if you don't teach personal finance nobody is going to teach and then you will have such alarming figures of 75 percent of people living beyond their means it's one of the basic things right so when you find whether it is dave ramsey is talking about it i have not seen a single video of dave ramsey so far but somebody accused me of plagiarism saying oh you're taking everything from there i actually don't know or from morgan housel i met morgan housel i've spoken to him believe me he also talks about basics and i realize one thing personal finance is a lot about saying the same thing again and again and reinforcing so i am not copied from a dave ramsey or a morgan housel or a warren buffett actually more wealth has been created for me by deepak parekh and uh, uh, murgappa group and maybe partly even tata group uh, taparia of supreme uh, these people People have created more wealth for me than all the other foreign authors put together so it doesn't really matter but yes personal finance is something very simple you're going to say the same thing so what am I saying today spend less than what you earn sounds very basic I think it sounded very basic to people uh, maybe 20 30 years ago but today thanks to the credit card or uh, all those kind of facilities maybe people are spending more so again reinforcing the basic get your basics right spend less than what you earn invest the difference repeat 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 if you don't know where to invest index funds if you think you know where to invest choose those investments properly choosing a financial advisor makes sense just because somebody comes on twitter and says you don't need a financial advisor i can go on twitter and or uh, on youtube and say you don't need a i mean a, a backache is just a mental problem you don't need to act on it you don't need a doctor just read about it feel good about it give a hug and a kiss and the backache will go so will heart attack and so will a brain related problem <coughs> somebody has a heart attack you don't say oh come I'll give you a love and a kiss and you will be all right but when somebody has a crack in the brain uh, we never ever think of referring them to a psychiatrist because we think oh bagal look jate. completely wrong uh, specialist can add value if you don't know how a specialist adds value bad luck uh, sorry I digressed a lot but all of this is basic right and why am I saying it from uh, Himachal Pradesh no particular reason I needed to shoot something I've shot this thanks bye